Good morning, boys and girls. That's Mrs. Nielsen from St. Teresa's. Hope everybody's doing well. Today we're going to talk about our five senses. Here I have a little girl, and she's going to help us learn what our five senses are. Our five senses are what we use to learn about the things in our world and the things around us. They just like this little girl. We have eyes, and our eyes can see. That's one of our five senses. We have ears, and our ears hear things. That's another five sense. We have a nose, and our nose helps us to smell things. And this one is our hands. Our hands touch things and feel what they feel like. And our mouth, that's what helps us to taste things in our world. And when we taste things, those are the things we put in our mouth so we can eat them, and we can decide if we like them or not like them. So these are our five senses. Our five senses are eyes to see, nose to smell, ears to hear, mouth to taste, and hands to touch. So those are the five senses. But this week, boys and girls, we are gonna concentrate on the sense of sight. And sense of sight is what we see with our eyes. We use our eyes to see things. Everything around you, when you see, when you have the ability to see, you can see everything around you. From the minute you open your eyes, you see things. You see your mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters, your room, everything in your house. And here are just a few items that you might see in the world. You can see a watch, you can see butterflies. This is an x-ray. If you go to the doctor and you have to take an x-ray, they show you what the bones inside you look like. Here we have a newspaper. People like to read and learn about the world. Here is a, a globe with the planet Earth and glasses. Sometimes we need glasses to help us see better. Today, we're gonna read a book about seeing and it's about what a panda bear sees around him. The name of the book or the title is Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? I put my glasses on so I could see the words a little bit better because I'm a little bit older. I need a little help in seeing some of these words. And the title, that's the title of the book. The author is Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Hall. What does an author do? Do you remember? That's right. The author writes the book. Are you ready to listen? Panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? What do you think a panda bear might see? Let's find out. There he is. There he is, see? Could you see that? Very nice. Panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? Well, we could see what color he is, right? He's black and white. Well, him where he really lives, he's gonna see another type of animal. But guess which animal he sees first? He sees a bald eagle soaring at him. Do you know what soaring means? That means it's flying down by him or around him. Bald eagle, bald eagle, what do you see? I see, I'm peeking to see. I see a water buffalo charging at me. The water buffalo is running towards him or around him. Water buffalo, water buffalo, what do you see? Let's see, I'm gonna take a little peek for us. Oh, this is a cute one. I see a spider monkey swinging at me. Spider monkey, spider monkey, what do you see? I see a green sea turtle swimming by me. He's gonna see a turtle swimming by him. There's the green sea turtle, do you see that? Green sea turtle, green sea turtle, what do you see? Let's see, have you ever seen one of these? I have. And the green turtle sees him too. He is a macaroni penguin strutting by me. Strutting means like walking by the way he walks. There's the macaroni penguin. And they call him macaroni penguin, why? What do you see on top of his head? Those hairs on top of his head look like strands of spaghetti. Now that's macaroni. Macaroni penguin, macaroni penguin, what do you see? I see a, let's see what he sees, I'm gonna peek for us. Oh, a sea lion splashing by me. And there's the sea lion. Sea lion, sea lion, what do you see? I see a 
red wolf sneaking by me. And the red wolf is very sneaky and he comes up slow. And you gotta be careful because he wants to try to attack. And that's why he's so sneaky. Red wolf, red wolf, what do you see? I see a whooping crane flying by me. What's a whooping crane? Let's look and see. Oh, that type of bird. Whooping crane, whooping crane, what do you see? I see a black panther strolling by me. Do you know what a black panther is? Well, it's definitely black. It's a big cat. And they're very sneaky too and quiet and then they attack. Black panther, black panther, what do you see? I see a dreaming child watching over me. Oh, so there must have been a child dreaming about all these beautiful animals. Dreaming child, dreaming child, what do you see? I see all the animals looking at me. A panda bear, a bald eagle, a water buffalo, a spider monkey, a green sea turtle, a macaroni penguin, a sea lion, a red wolf, a whooping crane, and a black panda, panther. All wild and free. That's what I see. He was dreaming of all the free wild animals that are out in the jungle or in the Arctic. He was seeing all the animals in his dream. Maybe he was visiting a zoo one day and saw some of these animals and then had a dream about them. But look at all the many colors of other animals. Different colors, some are the same colors, some have different colors, black and white, green. Because when we see boys and girls with our eyes, we don't just see color, we see objects, we see the size of them, we see what they look like, and we can watch what they do. And that's what we're learning about this week. And every time we see things, boys and girls, we see colors, all different colors. Everything in the world is made up of beautiful colors. So what I'd like for you to do now that you listen to the book with me, A Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? Is if mommy would help you, think about a place that you visited or that you go to. And what are some things that you see when you go there? Could you draw me a picture of one or two, maybe three would even be nice, of things that you've seen at a place that you went? even in your own house or outside your house or in your backyard. Draw us a picture of some things that you see with your eyes. And remember, your eyes are the sense of sight. They help you look at things and learn about the things in your world. Hope you have a good day, boys and girls. And we're looking to look forward to seeing your pictures real soon. Bye-bye.